Well, we were expecting soggy conditions tonight in Bowling Green, Kentucky, but so far we've stayed dry, which is great news for both quarterbacks as Tyrell Pigram's Hilltoppers face Grant Wells and the Thundering Herd. Marshall and Western Kentucky renewing their budding and often thrilling rivalry. Yeah, the Hilltoppers already off to a good start in conference play, but no CUSA team had a better non-con than Marshall, playing for the first time in three weeks after a ranked win at home now in enemy territory. As we welcome you to Bowling Green, Kentucky, for stadium's coverage of Conference USA football, it is dry right now. But look at the radar. With the Super Bowl champion A.J. Hawk, I'm Chris Hassel. The unofficial name of this rivalry is the Moonshine Throwdown, and it's pretty fitting because it is going to be a throwdown tonight. They are big and they are old. All five starters are seniors, four of the five over 300. Yeah, Chris, if I'm a head coach, I would love to hear if I came in inheriting a team, hey, your offensive line, guess what? They are big and they are old. Those are great things. That means they are cohesive. They have played a lot of snaps together, and they kind of work as one, and it is a lot of fun to watch these guys go to work. And they're blocking for the reigning Conference USA MVP. Brendan Knox over 2,000 rushing yards in his career, off to a great start this season, averaging over 110 yards a game. Brendan Knox is Mr. Consistent for this Marshall team. They lean on him heavily. I think his, his style of play really complements what this offensive line does well. It's almost like they're all working together right now. He knows where the offensive linemen are going to be after the snap. He knows where they're going to be down the field. He just has such great instincts and feel. Uh, today, and tonight, I should say, is going to be a night where they want Brendan Knox to continue what he has done for a long time. I tell you what, we talked about D'Angelo Malone in the open a couple minutes ago, but Tevante Beckett, this guy is everywhere. When Marshall's defense is on the field, it kind of runs through Beckett. The guy can fly. He may be a bit undersized, but he is very, very physical. I expected him to be all over the field tonight. Marshall is going to be returning the opening kickoff. So we'll see Malone first. And Western Kentucky wearing unusual helmets. First time they've worn the tops helmets. And we're underway from Houchin Smith Stadium with an opening touchback. And Marshall will start at the 25-yard line with their redshirt freshman, Grant Wells, a West Virginia kid. All he wanted to do was play for the Marshall Thundering Herd. And look at that. Three years ago, he decided he would do just that, thanking everyone who supported him throughout the process, deciding to continue his academic and football career at Marshall University. And he's the first West Virginia native to start for Marshall since the 90s. And he had a great opening game. Struggled a little bit against App State, but still got the victory. He's first in the conference in yards per attempt. Almost double digits there as he starts in the shotgun. And he will roll right and fire it downfield. Caught into Western Kentucky territory. Brock Thompson making his ninth catch of the season. With the sense that fooled Western Kentucky a little bit. They were probably thinking run right off the bat. That's what Marshall talked about all week. We're going to run it right at him. Not on the first play. Yeah, Western's defense had to think they got to take a shot running. They've had almost a three-week layoff between games. Let's try to get him in rhythm, but I like to get him on the edge and get, get Wells an early completion. A 30-yard pickup, and here comes more. Brendan Knox. Can he get there? He can! 45-yard touchdown run, and the thundering herd are off and running. Well, I guess that answers the question, Chris, if Marshall's going to have any rust in their game. 45-yard touchdown run. Brendan Knox just letting those big offensive linemen do the work there. You saw that little subtle jump cut in the hole and then he finishes it with this stiff arm on Cray. If you see it right there, I mean, Cray has the angle on him. He has everything in line to at least knock him out of bounds and just give your defense a chance. But Brendan Knox is too good, he's too strong, and this Marshall team comes out on fire. They put that on the NFL draft highlight reel for Brendan Knox, who's definitely gonna get a shot somewhere at some point. He's still just a redshirt junior though. 45-yard touchdown run. We came into this thing talking about defense. There was no defense being played on the first two plays of the game. Marshall leading it 7-0. They are a touchdown favorite tonight. 
After the gain of three on first down, it's play action. And in the flat, Dayton Wade gets smoked. Nazi Johnson, preseason All-Conference USA, you see why. This is exactly what this Marshall, what the whole team is about, but just fundamentals, staying at home. They try to run a little misdirection and try to fool Marshall's defense. And they need to pick up seven, get to the 35 for a first down. They'll complete the pass, but that's going nowhere. Simon strung out and ripped down by Derek Pitts. And it'll force a three and out to start the game. And that's Dayton Wade to return it for the Hilltoppers. Pretty good kick. Wade at the 26, sidesteps a man, but can't miss the second. Stephen Gilmore making the hit. Play clock under 10. Pigram, design run, gets a block from his running back and gets the first down. But the ball came out. And it's Marshall football. The rolling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. Tavante Beckett first recovered it. KU. Waiting to get Chris check these guys out there. Two heads rushers. I started to step all over you, but these oh. guys are special. Jawan Jones and D'Angelo Malone, third and long. They want to take advantage. Can't make a dent in that offensive line, though. Look at the time for Wells, who completes it over the middle. Willie Johnson making the catch. And chalk another one up for that Marshall offensive line, A.J. Yeah, I, I circled the, the outside rushers, D'Angelo Malone and Juwan Jones before that. And I tell you what, they ran a little stunt game where they kind of went up the field and twisted inside and worked with the interior D lineman. Watch this Marshall offensive line. That's the thing about having these veteran offensive linemen. They can run all the stunts and games and move and slant all you want. They're not fooled. They're going to pass it off. They're going to communicate pre-snap, and they just know where each other are going to be, and they hold each other accountable, and that was the thing of beauty there. Wells looking to throw again, and it's complete again. Right at the sticks to the X-Man, Xavier Gaines. They don't call it the Wildcat package. Tim Krams of the OC says, no, Wildcat package means the guy can't throw it. We call it the Amigos package. Why? Well, he doesn't know. He just came up with it. It's just a handoff, and Evans is still free. Inside the 10, spinning to the 5. Evans on the carry. It doesn't matter who is carrying the ball for Marshall. They are going to stiff arm. They are going to make people miss. And they're going to find a way to try to get into that end zone. I thought for a minute he was going to break all these tackles and get in there. Evans still the running back to the left of Wells on first and goal from the five. Gets the handoff, skips through, reaches over the goal line, touchdown Marshall. Evans for the touchdown. Sheldon Evans, he's not the number one go-to, but he's pretty good as well. Marshall cruised in early to just about every facet of the game, but we're only a quarter of the way through. Third and two to start the second, and it's a conversion to Lee Keaton on the catch. And they're up against it again. Third down and ten. Marshall only sends three. Pagram steps up. Can he get the corner? Cannot. And he's going to be a few yards shy. Should have been a long completion. As we took it, take a look at some of the notable quarterbacks the last 25 years at Marshall, and they've had some great ones. Chad Pennington, Byron Leftwich, Rakeem Cato. None of those guys, though, were from West Virginia. And that's important for this program. They are so happy to have Grant Wells as the face of the program from Charleston, kid that grew up wanting to play for Marshall. Hey, he wants the opposing defenses to know that the pass is an option as well with Xavier Gaines in there at the quarterback spot. Well, I saw one of them last year. He completed one for 33 yards. Former four-star quarterback had offers from Alabama and Clemson. They're doing a great job at the tight end position for Marshall. Keaton makes a man miss, picks up the first down to the 40-yard line of Western Kentucky. That's the key. Get it out there on the flat. You get a burner, a slippery fella, 
make one guy miss, and you pick up a big chunk. Lefevre to punt it. And it's going to drop inside the five. And, oh, great sandwich. Down at the two-yard line. And they'll have 98 yards to go. 14-0 Marshall. Marshall defense, the name of the game. They still haven't given up a point in this game. Only seven points all season and now close to two and a half games. And when they do get passes completed, they'll make you pay. I mean, just watching these clips, you can see why this Marshall defense has been so successful early on in this year. Not only can they fly, but when they get there, they have bad intentions. They all are trying to get in on every single tackle, it seems. Give it up just three and a half points per game. And so far, that number is going down. Western Kentucky backed up at the two after the great punt. And another huge hit. Wow. Mitchell Tinsley got smoked by Abraham Boplan. Junior from Boynton Beach, Florida. Now, there are no weak spots on this defense. We asked Brian Ellis, the offensive coordinator at Western Kentucky, you know, if you, if you can't attack something, what is it? He said, nowhere. <laughs> Pigram taken down in the backfield. A sack by Brandon Drayton. Never chase. Like, they just have such great discipline as a team. It's not surprising with Doc Holliday as their head coach, but it's it's fun to see in person just watching the execution from Marshall, and it's even more impressive coming off the layoff they had. Three weeks between games and a very returnable line drive kick. Keaton tries to get the edge. Got it. Got a block. Midfield and out at the 45-yard line of Western Kentucky. Keep Marshall off the scoreboard here. Pressure coming. Wells deep has a man, and it is hauled in. First in goal, thundering herd as Brock Thompson makes the grab. Just a one-on-one -on -one matchup here between Brock Thompson, Deontay Ruffin. Ruffin is not in bad shape there. He's on the hip, and you see the throw a little bit from... And Knox gets it. And gets over the goal line. Touchdown, Marshall, the second of the game for Knox. And those bullies up front keep pushing the red shirts back. Biggest play of the drive, Brock Thompson one-on-one -on -one with Deontay Ruffin. Ruffin doesn't really fall for the jukes at the line, but you see that ball just thrown a little bit outside in a perfect position for Brock Thompson to where Ruffin can't make up the ground at the top of that route to get the, the PBU. It's more of what Marshall's defense yeah. is doing. To They're just being that. smothered. They are. It's Everywhere you look. Suffocation. Longest play of the game so far for Western is 10. A 10-yard 10 pass. Oh, wow. Pigram lost the ball. He lowered his head, welcomed the hit. But he lost the football, and Devontae Beckett has his second fumble recovery of the game. The ruling on a field is a fumble recovered by the defense. Watch 41. Abraham Boplan comes in with a huge shot, and almost as he's falling down, trying to wrap Pigram up is when the ball comes. Look at Boplan right here. Watch the physicality. And then he's able to get his left hand, it looks like on the tip of that ball, Knocks it out, and his partner, really Devontae the Beckett, is there. First down, Marshall. And Grant Wells can really sling it. What they like most about him is his poise. They love that he's got all the throws, the great skill set, but they say the poise is what's going to put him over the top. Knox skips through, close to the first down marker, and taken down a yard short. Marshall going for it on fourth and one. Knocks the carry. And it looks like the spot's going to give it to him. And they will move the chains once again. Second down, Wells in the face of pressure. Finds Thompson, stays on his feet inside the five. First and goal with 31 seconds to go at the four. 
And again, still all three timeouts for Marshall. Sophomore from Indy. He's got wheels. You see Western Kentucky try to bring some pressure there. Wells stands in, takes it, and you see this. When it rains, it pours for Western Kentucky. It's not all pleasantries in the locker room. Usually coaches are even more amped up. They want to make sure you keep your foot on the gas. Wells hands it. Knox skips through, and he has another touchdown, his third of the game. It's on the ground, three of them from Brendan Knox. This would be a good angle of what Brendan Knox sees. As he gets the ball, you see just the mass of bodies there. His offensive lineman in front of him. Malone tries to get on his ankles there in the backfield and trip him up. And Knox, they want to have some fun in this second half. Pegram looking to throw on first down. And that one almost caught. It was single coverage. But Jalen McClain Sapp was there to knock it away. McClain Sapp is just sitting right in his hip pocket. You see they tried to throw the back shoulder ball with the DB. Hope we find a way to get some more yard after the catch. Gage Walker can't get the corner. Two yards. And bear hugged out of bounds. A Marshall defense that 10 quarters into this season now has given up just seven points. And Pigram checks it down to his running back, and that's going nowhere. McLean Sapp, who had the pass defended, cleans up the drive with a tackle for no gain. Setting up the screen, and Marshall says, uh, you'll have nothing in like it. All the rest of the rushing yards coming from Pigram, the quarterback. Seven carries, 28 yards. And he lost the ball again. It's going to be a scoop for six. And it's Tavante Beckett with a hat trick of fumble recoveries. His third of the game. Tavante Beckett on the recovery. Beckett has recovered all three of Pagram's fumbles. And he brings this one back to the house. Being helped off the field. Take a look again. An issue on the exchange. Yeah, Pigram and, and Jakari Moses have an issue here with this mesh. As you ride, if you're the quarterback, you stick that ball in the belly of the quarter, of the running back. He kind of has a soft squeeze on it until it gets to a certain point. And then you either have to pull it or you have to give it. If you're Pigram and we see some action behind Beckett, some guys trying to get some violence on both sides of Western there and Marshall. Oh. Check out Beckett right now. My, my circle was delayed on me here, Chris, but yeah, he takes advantage of the mistake there from Western Kentucky's offense. And a new quarterback into the game. It's Kavaris Thompson, a redshirt sophomore from Lakeland, Florida. He's played in one game so far this season. He's only attempted one pass. That's it for Tyrell Pigram for now. I'll say, and a defense licking its chops now that you know. I mean, they've got to start throwing the ball down the field. This isn't going to work. Beckett in on that stop once again. I think he might be the CUSA Defensive Player of the Week. He still has nearly a half a football to play, and he already has three fumble recoveries and a touchdown. Last week, or last game, I should say, three weeks ago, he was the National Defensive Player of the Week with 16 tackles and a forced fumble. He might be on his way to All-American status if he keeps this up. Trailing 35-0 to your rival, Marshall. They'll send some pressure. Wells gets hit from behind but still completes the pass. Just shy of a first down, Corey Gamage. Has the moxie to see it and get rid of the ball. Third and about two, Knox still keeps it moving forward. And with the help of the offensive line, it's a first down for Marshall. Some stuff you may never come back to even. It's another handoff to Davis. I beg your pardon, Evans. 
Still going with some tempo, snapping it with 20 seconds on the play clock. And again, Sheldon Evans will pick up the first down. From Western Kentucky's defense, obviously that's, that's expected. Another handoff, and getting out of an arm tackle was Evans. He's ridden down at the 11-yard line. Another first down for Marshall. Look at the stiff arm on Antoine Kincaid. It was at the line of scrimmage, though. It looked like he was stopped for no gain. It did, and he breaks through. If you look, they, if you're Western Kentucky, you're saying, hey, if we're going to get beaten 10 out of the 11 times in the red zone before this kick right here, they have converted for points. And they convert once again as Chuchi makes a 28-yarder. And it's 38-0 Marshall toward the end of the third. Well, that, that building kind of reminds me of uh, the number zero, Western Kentucky sitting on zero. I don't know what that building is on campus, but uh, kind of fitting tonight. 38-0 Marshall here as we start the fourth. And look out, onside kick. And Marshall looks as though they've recovered. Nazi Johnson. No, beg your pardon, that's Brock Thompson, the wide receiver. Little surprise onsider. It was a good attempt. If Thompson doesn't come down with that, Western Kentucky will get it. Pressure off the edge, and it's going to be offsides. They convert it anyway. There's no such thing as a moral victory. Is there such thing as getting a little bit of feel goods at the end of a game when you're getting blown out? There is. And in the moment, it doesn't feel like that. Like if you can make a play or if you can do something, like coaches will always look at your team when you're down by a bunch and say, all right, this is where we see who we truly are. This is how we, all night long, he's trying to run through them and get to the punt. Long pass across the field. And boy, Nazi Johnson, if he was looking at the football, might have been able to pick that off. 6.25 to play here in the fourth. Turnover on downs. And Brendan Knox now over 100 yards on the ground for the 12th time in his career in 21 career games. So more times than not, he's going to go over 100 on the ground. He also has a career-high three rushing touchdowns. He's going to follow his blocking from this great offensive line. He's going to hold on to the football. We know what we're going to get on game day out of Brendan Knox. The coaches know what they're going to get from him all throughout the week. To continue to kind of play with that chip on your shoulder like you have something to prove. That's what it looks like when Brendan Knox is running the ball. And then they go to their third stringer, McDaniel, who's a very talented running back, over 100 yards on the season now, three-star out of high school, out of Florida, had offers from Georgia and Ohio State. And there are some schools, military academies, looking to fill up the schedule a little bit more. Timeout. Western so Western does call a timeout with 42 seconds left. Please set the clock. To move the chains. Timeout. Western Kentucky. They're second. It's not fun. Well, you're saying that's happened to you? Yeah, who has? It's happened to everybody, hasn't it? To get a football I used to play straight at you. I was in the front away. line on kickoff return for a lot in college. Yeah? Yeah. Really? It's happened. Practice, games. It never feels good. <laughs> You'd rather take it right off the head. Timeout. Hit my helmet. Marshall. Marshall calls a timeout now. Were they... Was Marshall worried about getting a delay of game or something? Were they just trying not to get a t uh, the, another penalty? The play clock was still around 10. It's yeah. possible. And there it is. Marshall, from start to finish, dominates. 38 to 14. They led this thing 38 nothing. 
And Doc Holliday sends his team off the field. I didn't think he, he wanted any of his players interacting with Western Kentucky and, and vice versa because they're... And we are pleased to be joined now by Tavante Beckett, part of that great Marshall defense. Yes, sir. Tavante, what a night. Three fumble recoveries and a touchdown. Could you ever dream of a night like this? Uh, I didn't necessarily dream of three fumble recoveries, but I did <laughs> dream of having a good game. So uh, I'm, I'm just proud of my guys, man. You know, we played tough. We knew they had talent on their side of the ball, so we just wanted to lock in on our cause and just make plays, man. And I'm uh, fortunate enough to my teammate forced a couple fumbles, and I was just there to pick it up, man. Credits to them, though. They, they forced it. I didn't force any of them. How did you guys feel coming into this matchup? Because there was nowhere to go with the football today down the field. You guys yes, were very sir. physical up front. You you made them pay yes, sir. Any, every yard that they got. Did you guys feel like you had a good matchups coming into this game? Uh, for us, man, our mentality was just a championship game. You know, it's conference, first game of the conference, and we know every game means something here in, in, the, in uh, Conference USA. Any team can beat any, anybody at any time. So we just focus on locking in and dialing in and just being ready for anything they throw at us. We watched a lot of film, so we figured we uh, figured we we knew what they was going to throw at us. And Coach Lambo, Coach Lambo just had the calls right, man. We just filled it up. How did you guys keep that edge with three weeks between games? You looked so good to start the season, yes, but then you didn't have a game. And I know Brad Lambert, your defensive coordinator, was worried about the sharpness that you'd have. Yes, How did you keep that edge? Uh, that's just the hunger of our defense, man. We got a bunch of guys that likes to get after the ball, man. And that's the that's the most important thing. If if everybody dialed in and want and want to make plays and want want to be that guy, man, it's just effective and it's contagious. So we all just we all just feed off each other, man. And and that's the most important thing. Just trying to be be there for your brother and do everything right for your brother. And, and we've been grinding these last couple weeks waiting for this moment to get back out there and show, our, show what we can do to the world, man. We just came to make a statement. I feel like we did that. Well, Marshall 3-0 now, yes, sir. and uh, I'm not sure I see a loss on the schedule anytime <laughs> soon if you keep playing like this. Devontae yes, Beckett, you might be having another National Defensive Player of the Week honor I hope so. coming your way <laughs> after three fumble recoveries and a touchdown. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate you, man. boss. As they move to 3-0. <laughs> In dominating fashion over Western Kentucky. Next up, they go to Louisiana Tech. It's my life trick. From our broadcast partner, AJ Hawk, and our entire crew, I'm Chris Hassel saying so long from Bowling Green, all Marshall tonight for more great college football coverage along with daily studio programming and the latest news and information. Visit Watch Stadium.